We're talking to lacrosse-born Landon Sheely, who defines himself as classically untrained and foolishly optimistic. In 2018, Landon was offered to paint a three-story mural on a downtown parking ramp, entitled Helping Hands. His work is fitting in this day and age, and usually explores political and societal concerns as undertones. We chatted with Landon about art, his optimism, and most recently, the Greater Lacrosse Artist Relief Fund. You may find his work displayed at the Root Note in Lacrosse, Gold Heart Tattoo, and other pop-up shows. I'm Amy, and he's Brent, and this is Lacrosse Local. Landon Sheely, I was born here in Lacrosse. Kind of grew up here and Michigan, and then was in Los Angeles for a while, and then came back here. I played music for a while when I was younger, and then just kept doing that sort of by default until I discovered. I was able to do visual art and not perform. I didn't have to like get in front of people. And I didn't realize that I didn't enjoy performing until I stopped. So I just sort of, I quit doing that and started doing visual art. It wasn't necessarily on purpose. Once realizing that this other avenue is more just available to you and made you more comfortable, it was a lot easier to, I guess, perform then. People don't know what artists look like unless they're like very famous artists, which there are, you know, not that many of so it's really nice to just be able to do work and put it out there. And even if people know my work, they might not know. They don't like see me. They don't have to put me in with it. They don't have to judge the work based on me, which makes these things awkward because I like the the separation kind of, but it's not like it's a secret or anything. I don't, there's nothing sacred about it. I just appreciate the anonymity behind visual art. It looks like you're involved in the Greater Lacrosse Artist Relief Fund. I think the idea came from something out of Eau Claire. How did that come about and what do you hope to accomplish with that? Yeah, some friends of mine in Eau Claire got us started. Ambient Inks is a screen printing and like merchandise fulfillment place out of Eau Claire. They did it, saw that model, thought it would work really well, figured actually uh, Jackie Marcou had asked if I had any ideas or whatever. Um, and I sort of pointed her towards that. She likes to do that kind of hard work, meetings, committees and things. And um, I don't. So I said, here, do this. <laughs> it's a cool way to just sort of like know that artists are missing out on, you know, some income right now. And you want people to be able to continue making art so people can pitch a few bucks in and anybody can apply to um, receive those little micro grants. You were commissioned by City of Lacrosse to paint a three-story mural on a downtown parking ramp. It was titled Helping Hands. So how did that come about? And what was that process potentially working with the City of Lacrosse? That also was through Jackie. She wanted to get murals started in town. So she came to me and asked if I would be willing to do it. I said yes. I just drew up. My mock-up, what I wanted to put up there, I showed it to the arts board. Uh, it pretty much just got approved right there. It was super easy, super simple. It, it's something that is normally difficult, and it could be really difficult, but that particular piece at that time, that project, was uh, real simple. The only thing we kind of had to wait for was the weather. Um, your work has been displayed ongoing at the Root Note, Gold Heart Tattoo, other pop-up shows. How do you feel about your place as an artist in lacrosse? Uh, I don't know. I don't really think about it. I appreciate it. I appreciate that I have the outlets that I have, that I can continue to do that. I'm privileged in that I just sort of continue to produce work and put it out there. And I don't think that hard about it. I don't think about how it'll be received necessarily. I just kind of do the thing that I want to be doing at that time. I think we're at a time right now where people can kind of choose to follow an artist. An audience is watching you as you're releasing work. And they'll give you feedback or, you know, like it or whatever, whether that's online or in person. Your work has, you know, some political and societal concerns sort of as undertones. Is there any theme you find arising more often in your work? Basically, what are you hoping your viewers to take away from it? I have this continued hope that things could can be better and that continue to grow and learn and uh, just be better to each other. Usually... Uh, I'll be responding to something that's happening on the outside. Well, you know, uh, immigration is often uh, a launching point for me. Um, cops killing black kids is unfortunately a frequent launching pad because that seems to be happening all the time in this country. 
I have this privilege being a white guy from the Midwest that I don't really have outside forces beating down on me all the time. I can hear or see something like what is occurring right now. I can see these things happen and I can try to amplify them. I can try to amplify voices that aren't um, being listened to. I don't think that I necessarily have power in that, but I, but I know that I have privilege. I can bother people who won't listen to people who they should be listening to, but it is because I think that things can and should be better. I don't do these things out of anger. Well, I, I do a lot of times, but it's, but it's an anger that, that is happening because I'm hopeful, because I, I believe that things can be better. I try to explain that the reason I do it isn't because I think I can change a system or break a system or whatever else. I think I do it in hopes that I can encourage a couple people, maybe one person. It's not because you think you have the power to necessarily, you know, change the world. So just how you explained here and also you have it on your website is classically untrained and foolishly optimistic. Is there a little bit more you could share on that? I am untrained fully. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just I have a hope for better things. I think things can be better, but I think that it's on us to make them better. And that's the foolish, you know, optimism. It's like a a child looking at things and not looking at them like this, what is like multi-dimensional chess game that's happening, but just like pushing forward and hoping for hoping for better. They say something like uh, as you get older, you become more conservative or whatever, but I really I'm not seeing that happen in my life. <laughs> I'm seeing it kind of go the other way, getting more reckless in my hope. I found your business card laying around. I believe it all said was your name and not for hire. That made makes things a lot easier for me to just kind of put it out there that I'm not necessarily for hire. I like doing the work that I'm that I'm working on and um, not necessarily taking on jobs. The other thing about that business card is it's a little bit of marketing because if I write on my card that I'm not for hire, but then I talk to you long enough to give you my phone number, then you, you feel special. And so, you know. <laughs> Is there anything you're hoping to see in lacrosse in terms of an art scene? I just want to see more people putting work out, organizing. I, you know, I hear whispers of people putting together like lists and profiles of artists so that if there's like a mural that needs done they can look at a list and see work and, and I just you know that type of a thing would be really cool to see like fleshed out I all kinds of ideas all the time but I'm terribly unorganized I'm not good at it and I don't like to sit in on meetings and stuff but I mean that's what I'd like to see is just the growth some organization it shouldn't be a uh, competitive world um, and I don't think it is here if there's you know, an organized group of artists that the lacrosse area can go to and see that work. They, they don't have to like hire some artists from California and pay them way too much to do some painting somewhere. You know, you can look inside the community and uh, keep it going that way. You know, where can people find out more about you? Pretty much just on Instagram. I don't want to keep track of too many things. So I have a website, LandonSheely.com. And that is also my Instagram handle, Landon Sheely. Lacrosse Local Podcast is a production of River Travel Media. Do you have an interview idea you would like to share with us? Message us on Facebook at Lacrosse Locals. Subscribe to the Lacrosse Local Podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you like us, rate us five stars. We thank you for it.